Hello everyone, uh, I'm Francesco Ganora and I am I have a new Mule ESB video for you. It's, a co it's the continuation of this one which was called, uh, is called Aggregation of Message and Richer Outputs Part 1 and provides a different solution to the same issue, same problem. Same problem, just to recap, was to aggregate calls from uh, an external um, external service so external service a very simple one in this case that returns a list of cities per country uh, as given by this query parameter so I get a list of French cities and I get a list of German city and so this uh, gives an, uh, a JSON array as output uh, with, with a list of uh, cities uh, for a certain European country. Um, I, but we want to uh, aggregate the results across several calls of, uh, of this uh, simple service. So we suppose we need uh, to receive uh, an array, a JSON array uh, containing country names and for each country we need to invoke uh, this uh, little service collect the cities per country and then uh, put them all together in a single uh, in a single array so in this case we want to get the cities for france italy and germany in a, and, and group them in a single output as in this case the solution uh, that was presented in the last video is uh, based on a collection in uh, a splitter and collection aggregator um, flows. Uh, so these uh, will create different threads for each uh, for each country as input. For the the list of input countries will be split, and then uh, we call. Uh, the the child uh, service that that yields the cities in a different thread and then we we aggregate them together the disadvantage uh, of that solution as we can see if we test it it's uh it's called uh, this this uh, flow is called by through this uh, url we pass as input france italy and germany uh, it does return uh, all the cities of uh, France, Italy, and Germany, but so in this case, uh, uh, this worked as a, uh, gave the first the cities of uh, France, then the cities of Italy, and then the cities of Germany in the right order. But if I invoke uh, again, you see that the order is not predict predictable this time. Uh, because the threads for the uh, that call the subservice for the different uh, the three countries execute in parallel, I get the German cities first, then the Italian cities, and then the French cities. If I execute once again, I, I get uh, uh, again not uh, not the order I expect. So uh, this solution is uh, using the splitter aggregator is the most common solution for this kind of problem, but. Uh, there is the disadvantage that it does not give the subset of, um, of cities per country in the same order as we gave the countries in, in the input. So let's see if we can address that uh, with another programming solution in Mule. Uh, so I developed another flow, uh, so these uh, implements the same uh, but instead of using splitter aggregator it uses the for each scope so how um, I intended to work is uh, that okay I, give, I received the JSON array with the countries as before and this is the same as in the other solution I translate this JSON array into a array list collection the members of the array list will ju just be strings. Uh, the strings contain uh, each string will be the name of a country. Uh, then I must use uh, some uh, kind of variable, a flow variable, to aggregate uh, the the result that I wanna get at the end. In the end, I wanna get 
the set of all the cities across all the countries that I receive his input. So I initialize a flow variable and this variable is called city list and this will be initialized with the uh, empty array list. So this collection will be empty at the beginning. When, uh, then I, I want to populate this collection by calling multiple times in a message enricher these uh, child services that gives me the cities per country. Uh, and then at each invocation I want to append the, the output payload to this uh, city list collection. When I, if I can achieve that, I can then just set the payload to this flow value of the four variables uh, that, con uh, that contains the city list and then just convert this collection to JSON and that will be the response of our, uh, of our flow. So let's see uh, how can go I go about um, aggregating uh, the cities. Uh, so the, out, uh, the outermost uh, scope is a for each scope. The for each scope takes a payload. Well, the payload uh, that comes to the for each scope is a collection of, uh, of strings. So for each uh, member, each member is a, is a country name. Then uh, the for each will execute uh, the, the processors that it contains uh, as many times as uh, we have uh, members in the input collection. So if I execute, uh, for example, this flow with, with an input of uh, three countries, I will have an as input a collection of uh, three strings. Uh, so for each, uh, for each uh, string in the collection, uh, the contents of these, uh, these uh, for each scope will be executed. So it will be executed first for France, then for Italy, and then for Germany. For each of these countries, so the, the payload within the for each scope becomes the current element of the collection. So we, uh, it's an iterator over the collection. For each uh, current uh, country, <coughs> we're gonna call within the message enricher uh, the the child service via this uh, outbound HTTP um, flow. Um, <coughs> then the results will be put uh, by the message enricher and will be saved into another another uh, flow var variable, which are the cities for current country. That will save uh, the result of the invocation. And then, um, after, <coughs> and the, uh, so the, this, the result, but the result will not be uh, the, the directly the the response of this invocation, but because uh, but there will be uh, an array list uh, derived from the response because I, we need to to be able to aggregate into uh, the aggregate result, which is an array list. I need also uh, the same kind of Java object. The invocation of the child service uh, uses the payload which within the for each is just a single country, a single string with a country, and uh, it's passed to this query parameters country, which is the, the query parameter input to the sub-service that we, uh, we saw before. Once uh, I retrieved uh, the, from, by calling the sub-service, the, the cities per country, uh, they become, uh, uh, the payload uh, output of this, um, sorry, they become the, uh, they become the, the content of the flow variables, uh, cities for current country, and then I exit from the message enricher with this variable populated, and I can use a simple groovy expression 
to append uh, from uh, to append this um, collection to the city list collection. So both of these are array lists, and with Groovy with a plus operator, I can I can append. So this uh, is uh, executed in a loop by the for each scope for each uh, country. So for each country, we call uh, HTTP subservice, uh, and then. Uh, we append uh, uh, the array list of the which contains the cities per country, and that should happen sequentially. So we keep the same order as uh, the list of countries. Let's see how this can work. I so we set uh, breakpoint, and I um, I execute. I execute this flow, which uh, has a URI for each enrichment. This keeps uh, directly the list. It didn't stop, so I I need to rerun it uh, in debug mode, wait for it to deploy. <coughs> By the way, uh, it didn't rerun the bug mode before it ran, uh, ran in normal mode and you see that the, uh, we get uh, the countries in the correct order, for first the French, then the Italian, then the German. Now we're going to execute in the bug, we send the request, we send the, the payload uh, is just a stream, we step, we the stream is translated into an array list uh, with the three countries as strings, as expected. I initialize uh, in the next step uh, the variable city list. It's an array list uh, of size zero because it's empty. Then we enter in the for each scope. In the for each scope, you see. Uh, that the payload becomes only the first element of the input collection. Uh, so the payload is restricted to francs, and this payload is then uh, is then passed as uh, the query parameters to the get cities uh, subservice. The get cities subservice returns uh, payload, which is um, is a stream. And then we uh, we translate this uh, into a into an array list. So the payload now, <coughs> well, uh, the we already got out of the message enricher. The message enricher did uh, did assign the cities for current countries to the list of five uh, French cities uh, that that were returned by the subservice. So this uh, happened because we asked the message enricher. So within the, mes within the message enricher, uh, the payload was still what was returned by the subservice, but then outside the message enricher scope, the payload has been uh, uh, reinstated to France, which was uh, the, the payload in scope of the for each. So when, when we exit, then uh, what happens is the, the Groovy uh, component it just appends uh, the cities for current countries, so the, the, the French cities that we retrieve to the, uh, to the city list. So the city list that was empty before and now is equal to the list of French cities. Then we get to the next uh, iteration of the for each this time uh, it takes Italy as which was the second element of our uh, initial payload of our input payload then uh, within the for each payload is Italy that is used to invoke uh, the get cities by country HTTP service that returns the list of Italian cities and then uh, you see the list of Italian, we still have in the cities for current country the old value before until now, which were the list of uh, the French uh, cities, but now we get a new value, which is the list of Italian cities. 
in, in the city list we still have only the French cities but now uh, when we execute the Groovy component it will append uh, the list of Italian cities to the existing list so we get into cities into city list also the Italian cities you see French cities and then the Italian cities then we do the the next iteration next iteration is uh, for uh, country Germany same thing we get uh, cities for Germany now we still have the Italian cities but now um, we see the cities for current country variable is populated with German cities and then we append again and we get a list of 15 cities so first uh, the French cities then the Italian cities and, uh, and at last the German cities here they are not ordered uh, visually but you see from the, the sequence number they are in the correct order so then we assign this uh, city list to as payload so the payload then becomes a, an array list uh, containing all the aggregate uh, cities yeah, the, the complete set of cities for the three countries and then finally we uh, map this uh, array list to the JSON output so and we get we get the uh, the result as expected so we if we add uh, for example Sweden and then we let it run you see we can see uh, that we we have uh, besides the current cities of France Italy and Germany we also have at the end uh, three cities for Sweden so uh, because this executes uh, sequentially uh, in the four scope for each element of the input then uh, we keep the sequence uh, of the cities so uh, the result is opposed to the solution uh, using the splitter aggregator and with this solution we keep the ordering so if we need to do that uh, uh, the for each scope comes in handy I hope that was um, useful for you and uh, we'll um, see you again in my next video thank you bye bye